After last year's cancellation, runners are off to the races for the 2024 Twin Cities Marathon. All right, Adam Duxter is out there now looking ahead to tomorrow's big race. What's going on, Adam? Yeah, good morning, Reg. You know, for so, so many people here in the Twin Cities, this weekend kind of symbolizes the start of like the fall season. Truly, the weather starts to turn, the leaves start to turn. It's just a fun event, and I will say this year it really does feel like it, and I'm sure that's a relief as I'm joined here by Charlie Mahler with Twin Cities in Motion. We got the long sleeves on. How much of a relief is it that it's seasonable weather this year well i remember being standing here right here with you last year short sleeves probably feeling hot already at what is it nine o'clock in the morning um yeah it's it's fall today and that's making the runners happy it's making the race organizers happy and uh yeah this is that's what twin cities marathon weekend is supposed to be celebration of fall and being active and obviously we're referring to last year just crazy spike in the temperatures we we had to cancel the marathon you know day of only a couple hours before and it was a tough decision, but then it didn't really deter people from coming back this year. What have you seen? No, um, we'll have 21,000 people running tomorrow. Roughly 10,000 of those people were people who were canceled last year who decided to come back and finally get across that finish line. What does that tell you that so many people made the decision to come back, even maybe after a disappointing year last year? Well. I know from experience, runners are um, uh, serious people, they're driven people, they're motivated. So if they have a goal that something else stops them from achieving, um, it's unlikely they're going to just give up on it. So I think that's part of it. Um, I think, uh, yeah, it's a, they, they, they want to cross that finish line. That is a big deal. Um, and uh, that's, they're, they're not going to get stopped. And if, even if it's a two year wait, they're going to they're going to be there. You know, tens of thousands of people running. Every one of them has a story. There's so much fun that goes into this weekend what are you looking forward to you know uh uh, staff members, we always try to, sp no matter what we do on the marathon, always try to spend some time at the finish line. It's always powerful. Um, you don't necessarily know the stories, but you can feel the stories of the people when they finish. Um, and it always, it moves us. I mean, we're in this in this business because we love running, because we love what running means to other people. So um, I think that's uh, that's how it how it hits us. We've got the marathon, the 10 mile, and the brand new half marathon tomorrow. Today we got the 10K, the 5K, a whole bunch of family events here, Reg. And tom uh, tomorrow, of course, is a sellout for that marathon. So they're really telling people, even if you aren't going to run, come out and support uh, all the folks that are. All right, Adam, thanks a lot.